Hello, good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling, and it's winter time. That means it's cold outside. Today in Northern California, it's raining, and it's cold. It's January. So here's some tips on how to stay raw vegan through the winter. You can always eat warm food that isn't cooked. 118 degrees is where all the enzymes are killed, so you can warm food to the touch, and it's fine. You can make soups. You can make miso soup with the, all the enzymes in there. You can make blended soups. The Vitamix is a great tool for that because you can just kind of blend up soups and put vegetables in and you can get it warm. And there's no reason to have only cold food or refrigerated food on a raw vegan diet. What I do is room temperature food and I find that I don't need warmed food. I don't really crave warm soups. Even on a cold day like today, I have no desire. In fact, the first thing I crave when I wake up in the morning is my green smoothies that I make, which are bananas and kale or spinach and um, usually some flax seed. And I usually put some ice in there to keep it cool. So on a cold winter day, I wake up and I want a cold smoothie because that keeps me warm, believe it or not. You know what, people always ask me in Chinese and Ayurvedic traditions that they say you're supposed to eat warm food to avoid feeling damp and cold. And I just find that nothing could be further from the truth. A raw vegan diet, a 100% raw vegan diet, I find keeps me so warm and so active feeling that I never desire that warm feeling of, of cooked food. And when I first transitioned to a raw diet, I was really scared that I was going to miss the warm sensation of food. I really was, honestly. And I know that anyone who's thinking about transitioning to a raw vegan diet would have that be a top concern. Well, how am I going to live the rest of my life without that warm food or that warm soup or sandwich or whatever it is that you're used to that's got you... Um, feeling like you could never give that up. What I say to that is that uh, cooked food is an addiction and cooked foods usually mean more mucus forming foods and the cooked foods are going to slow down the metabolism. It's going to create mucus and biofilms in the body. It's going to create acidosis in the body. It's going to create everything that slows everything down and makes it harder to stay warm. If you've got cold hands and feet, if you run cold normally, it's because you're eating too much cooked food. You need to eat the raw foods and then you'll never feel cold and damp. So I really just think it's time to debunk that myth in, of Ayurvedic tradition and Chinese tradition. I really just don't believe it's true. Humans have been cooking their food for hundreds of thousands of years, if not longer. So we've come up with all kinds of justifications to help ourselves believe that it's the right thing to do to eat cooked food. And it's really kind of, it's pretty insane if you ask me, because if we just eat whole foods as it comes from Mother Nature, our body thrives. When we cook the food and damage the food, that's when our body really has a hard time. And that includes being cold. The other thing you can do is eat heating foods like spices, you know, cayenne pepper is great and even garlic. And I tend to avoid spices and garlic because I just don't, really find that it fits in with the way I like to eat. I like to eat fruit mono meals a lot and I like to eat salads and I don't do too much mixing of things because I like to keep the foods I eat simple and I try not to mix or food combine too much. It just creates more work for my body. I can just feel the difference. But in general, if you like spicy foods, you can make heated and spicy foods and sometimes spicy foods are fun. I enjoy spicy foods sometime myself, honestly, but for the most part, I, uh, I just don't find myself gravitating toward them or feeling like I want them or need them. Another benefit of the raw vegan diet, in my opinion, is that you don't need to spice your food all the time. It re you can reset your taste buds and you can reset your expectations around how food tastes and how it feels in your body. And coming from a cooked food paradigm, everything is seasoned and spiced and salted, especially animal products. It's all sugared and salted and spiced and seasoned because really animal products are gross and we shouldn't be eating it. So we have to just, you know, make it just covered in all these other flavors. It's really weird. And when you just eat whole food, whole raw food from mother nature, you realize how 
perfect the foods are, the natural sodiums in the greens and the natural sugars in the fruits. I mean, it's really just simplicity. But the main thing to be aware of is carbs. Carbs create energy in the body. Eat the raw carbs. Man, if you eat carbs, raw carbs, you're eating water, you're eating minerals, you're eating electrical activity, you're eating uh, biophotons. The food grown in the sun is going to have the most energy for the body. When we eat carbs, we are going to have the heat stoked, the fire stoked within us. So really it's just a matter of having an adequate amount of calories and having an adequate amount of carbohydrates and especially raw carbohydrates to keep the body fueled and thriving no matter how cold it is. Warm food doesn't make the body warm. Warm food makes the body cold. It's a strange paradigm to get over that, but the room temperature foods and the raw foods keep the body warm, even though they're not warm and hot foods themselves. You gotta try it for yourself to believe me. And I'll tell you, that's my experience. It's 100% true. I absolutely do not crave warm or hot food on cold days. It's really quite cool. Uh, the other thing you can do I believe is, you know, dehydrated foods and dried fruits, it's more dense, right? As we evaporate out the water without cooking, it concentrates the energy, concentrates the, the sugars, the carbohydrates, and, um, you know, the fats and the proteins. So you can eat dehydrated foods for just that sense of uh, density in the food. Now, I find myself, I tend to not gravitate toward the dehydrated foods. Even though I do like to have, you know, flax crackers and some, you know, with some uh, nut cheese or something like that here and there, I generally find that just the whole foods as they come from Mother Nature, and maybe that sounds boring to people, but it just is what makes it makes me feel the best. And I just, I just crave that kind of energy level. If I mix things too much or if I eat dehydrated foods, it really doesn't make me feel my best. But dehydrated foods, of course, can give you that sense of something cooked. And if you're trying to stay 100% raw through the winter, it's a great way to just, you know, hit that craving or that sensation that you might be used to. For me, I don't have a problem going cold turkey. I flip the switch and I can stay raw. It's really not a problem for me. I have like this willpower of steel, I think. But, and that serves me in terms of being uh, true to my raw vegan diet. But if you're someone who struggles and goes back and forth and takes a long time to transition, these are all tips that can really help. But I wanted to say the one and final and maybe most important thing to keep yourself warm on a raw vegan diet. Can you guess what that is? Can you guess what the one thing is that will really make a difference in terms of stoking your internal heat, keeping your metabolism high, keeping your energy levels at maximum peak capacity? Can you think of what that is? It starts with an E. Exercise. Exercise really keeps us warm. I mean, when you spend 30 minutes to, you know, 45 or an hour in the gym, say, you know, whether it's on the treadmill or lifting weights, you spark that internal heat and you're warm for the rest of the day. It doesn't matter how cold it is outside. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking, you know, zero degrees or sub zero degrees and highly cold northern climates, you need to put on the appropriate gear, but you're not going to be cold from the inside. All you have to do is work out. All you have to do is some exercise. And you know what makes exercising feel the best and the easiest is being on a 100% raw diet. I mean, when you're on raw food, you have so much more energy to work out. It makes it easy to go to the gym. It makes it easy to want to expend that energy. And in turn, that energy turns into that internal heat through exercise. I really don't think that we need to eat warm food to feel warm inside. I've experienced it myself. This is uh, proven to me through my own experience. And no matter what people argue or what people's fears are about letting go of warm and cooked food, that it's essential for the human body, that it's essential for our brains to be eating cooked food, it's just simply not true. I have not found that to be true at all in my own life. My brain feels more energized and more activated on raw food than it has ever felt on a almost you know a lifetime of cooked food 
I've been eating cooked food for over 40 years. And finally, I feel like I've broken free of it. Finally, I feel like I have the clarity of mind and the focus and the energy that I was born to have and designed to have as a human being. I feel like I found my birthright again. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. So that's my message. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you being here with me. Please subscribe to my channel so I can share more content like this. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one.